Welcome to another training session on PLC programming. In today's session, uh, we will see how we can detect and sort small, medium and large size objects. To detect these different sizes, we will install three sensors at three different heights. When an object comes in front of the sensor and all these sensors are on, this means that the large object is present in front of these sensors. Same way, if only two sensors are on, this means that medium size is present in front of these sensors. In the third case, if only the bottom sensor turns on, this means that the small object is present in front of these sensors. It is a two-part video tutorial. In part one, uh, we will learn how to detect the three different sizes of objects. In part number two, we will learn how we can sort these objects using conveyor and pushers, depending upon their sizes. Before starting today's session, I would really request you guys to please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming video tutorials. You can see that we have installed these three sensors at the entrance of the conveyor to detect small, medium and large size objects. The bottom sensor is connected at I0.0 input of the PLC. Middle sensor is connected at the I0.1 input of the PLC. And the upper sensor is connected at I0.2 input of the PLC. And now let's go to the Semantic Manager software and see how we can make a program to detect the three different sizes of objects. In the network 1, we have a simple logic to turn on the start bit M0.1. If we turn on the start push button M0.0. In the network number 2, we have written the logic to detect the small size objects. First, we will insert the normal open contact of M0.1 start bit to start the process. After that, we have a normal open contact of I0.0 small size sensor and the normal close contact of I0.1 and I0.2 medium and large size sensors. So this means that if a small object comes in front of these sensors, only I0.0 small size sensor detects the object. It will start the 100 millisecond timer, timer T1. When this timer is over, it will hold on M0.2 to indicate the detection of the small size object. This bit will unlatch only when the small object reaches sensor installed at the end of the conveyor I0.5. Next, in the network number 3, we have written the logic to detect the medium size objects. Here we have used the normal open contacts of I0.0 and I0.1 sensors in series with the normal close contact of I0.2 large size sensor. This means that if a medium size object comes in front of these sensors, the lower two sensors I0.0 and I0.1 will only detect this medium size object. This will turn on 100 millisecond timer T2. And once this timer is over, it will hold on M0.3 to indicate the detection of the medium size object. In the network number 4, we have written the logic to detect the large size object. In this network, we insert the normal open contact of all these sensors in series with each other. So when a large object comes in front of these sensors, all sensors will turn on and this will turn on the 100 millisecond T3 timer and once this timer is over it will latch on M0.4 bit to indicate the detection of the large size object. Network number 5 and network number 6 have the logic to sort these small medium and large size objects. We will discuss these networks in the part 2 of this video tutorial series. Next, we will download the program into the PLC and monitor the ladder logic. As you can see that as a small object comes in front of these height sensors, only the small size sensor I0.0 will turn on and other two sensors I0.1 and 0.2 contacts remain closed. This will latch on the M0.2 bit indicating the detection of the small object and this bit will turn off when the object is detected by I0.5 sensor at the end of the conveyor. 
Next, you can see that as soon as the medium size object comes in front of these sensors, only I 0.0 and 0.1 sensor turns on and the large size sensor I 0.2 contact remain closed. This will latch on the bit M0.3 indicating the detection of the medium size object. As soon as the large size object comes in front of these height sensors, all three sensors turn on and all and all contacts of I0.0, 0 0.1 0 and 0 0.2 sensors closes and starts the 100 millisecond T3 timer and this will latch on the M0.4 bit indicate the detection of the large size object. So this is how to make a ladder logic to detect the object with different heights or sizes. In the next part of this video tutorial we will learn how we can sort these objects depending upon these sizes. I hope you like today's video tutorial. Do share, like and subscribe to my channel to get the notification of the newly uploaded videos. Till next time, take care. Goodbye.